if you had told me Sam Lupowitz wrote one part of this, guess which, <laughs> guess which one it is. You know, I mean, this is it's vintage. Um, <laughs> I'm curious, Sam, how much direction did Harry give you for like what he wanted this to be? Or was it just kind of like, Sam, give me something crazy, you know? It wasn't even give me something crazy. What he said was after after he played us the demo that went up through Darling of Mine, he said, and that's kind of where I'm stuck. I was hoping you guys could maybe help me out. And I think we said, cool. And then I think maybe like it was later, like maybe a couple days or something. I, I probably just texted you and I was like, what's what happens next in the story? Like, what's the where you're stuck? And you say, oh, our, the main character goes to the underworld. And I was like. Got it. <laughs> Nailed it. Cool. Yeah. Yes. I'll write the part where we're in hell. I can do that. Stands, it's I think my favorite vocal I've ever done, like I've ever recorded. I'm so that your vocal performance. It sounds so dope. Yeah. It's yeah. my it's my favorite kind of thing to do because I'm not like I feel like my singing is a lot like my playing. Where in what I lack in precision, I try to make up for in attitude and a, something like this. That's all like it's a character, and it you know you're you're in hell. You know that's. I was channeling a little bit. There's an episode of, of Futurama where Bender goes to robot hell and uh, the robot <laughs> devil sings a song to welcome him to robot hell. And it's it's Dan Castellaneta who does the voice of Homer Simpson right. singing as the robot devil. That was sort of my, uh, I just went way over the top and it was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely picture you with like a top hat on and like the yes. the suit jacket with the tails. Oh and yeah, like spinning yes. the you know. Oh, I like that. I, yeah. you, you could do that for me mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> sometime. Top hat, suit jacket, tail, ten gallon hat. Nothing else. Nothing. I. Uh, yeah, it's it's got a very. Uh, please don't take any offense to this, mm -mm. It, but for me, it's just it's such a Tim Burton -y section. I don't know. It's like <laughs> yes, yes, it is. But uh, and that's what I love about it. Like yeah. Yeah, good Tim Burton, Edward Scissorhands, not like you know. Uh, but uh, I don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I love about it. It's just it's kind of a left turn where you need a left turn. I think. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. Side note, and forgive me if this is a stupid question, but toy piano, I'm literally picturing a Fisher Price piano. It's here. That's there. correct. It's over there. It's right there. Go get so it. Let's, here, let's put it, let's it, put it on yeah. the It may not be table. brand yeah. like trademark Fisher Price, but. Oh, yeah, sorry. A child's uh, generic it's brand. Schoenhut. Schoenhut. That's, that's it. Hello! <laughs> hey! Come on! Come on! Phil, what's been the most, uh, what's been the most difficult, uh, challenge musically for you today? Um, I, well, when, when Joe was doing, uh, uh, an acoustic guitar take, I was eating my sub. And I, you know, I was working through some fried chicken and some lettuce, and to, to keep that as quiet as possible while Joe was um, doing his take was extremely hard for me. Mm, that sounds difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Kudos to you. Couldn't hear a thing. Thank you. Yeah.